When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Let's get Jenna some help. She said, hey, Ben and Kelly, something happened the other day when I was working out and I wanted your take. Mm -hmm. So I was throwing myself at the climbing wall on my seventh circuit. Pretty tired, LOL. (laughs) And out of nowhere, I felt hands on my butt helping me over the wall. And a male voice saying, I thought you could use a hand. Well, that's aggressive. Then in the creepiest voice, I heard, boy, oh, boy, my brother's a lucky man. Oh. Ew. I turned around. It was my boyfriend's older brother, who I only met one time briefly over the holidays. Oh, gosh. The whole thing just kind of made me feel weird and uncomfortable. Uh I don't want to start drama. I know my boyfriend looks up to and idolizes his older brother. But do I need to tell my boyfriend about what happened, or could this all just be kind of a misunderstanding? Mm. My best friend thinks I definitely need to say something. My sister says I should just let it go, move on. What do you guys think? Ha, huh, that's awkward. I know. Uh, man, uh, you must have made yourself like one of the family in the time where you've been dating your boyfriend that his brother must just be... I, okay. All right. I mean, that's, that's, it's not. It was a, it's, very presumptuous <laughs> yes, of him. Yes. Very presumptuous well, to just be like, you know, just without even asking, like, hey, do you need some help? Yeah, I don't think I would have immediately, it doesn't matter how long, like, you know, I have two brothers-in-law and they have wives. I don't, Uh I don't care how long I've been around them. I don't think I would immediately go towards putting my hands on their butt to help them over a wall without, without either asking them or just, what? okay. I, that sounds wrong too. Like I would. Yeah, not, <laughs> I like know, even after know. I asked them, I would probably go towards their leg or their foot or their try foot, something like, like yes, that. Give right. them as you know a little platform for their foot and then push. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is really really odd. But but again, like she said, she's met him once mm-hmm. over the holidays. Yeah, that's weird. And yeah, that can cause like a major issue between the brothers. I, I don't know. I I'm just wondering how often is she going to find herself around this brother? That she would need, so so you're maybe leaning towards not let it go because telling? you're not going to be around him mm. a lot. I don't know. Okay. And then maybe if something else happens, then we say something. Yeah, you think you, you never want to be necessarily the drama that drives a wedge because I'm sure yeah. she's thinking worst case scenario, she rips their entire family apart. Right. Yeah. If it gets real bad. And, you know, and again, I don't know how long she's been working, you know, dating her boyfriend, but if she just met the brother over the holidays briefly, then I I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, not a super established relationship. So I, I tend to lean towards let it go. But if, you know, you have to be around him again, and if well, something else kind of awkward or flirty happens, then I maybe- tend. We mention it. I tend to lean towards mentioning it to your boyfriend. Really? So we're a little bit on different sides with this. I hate confrontation. All right. 502-571-9970. This is where we need your help. Kelly and I are no help. And no. Uh, so, yeah, we'd love to hear your take on it, especially if you've dealt with, like, brother drama or, you know, brothers coveting the same woman sort of thing. Uh, 502 57 All right, group therapy. So Jenna was at the gym. She felt a couple hands on her tush, helping her during her seventh circuit of doing the climbing wall. And turns around and realizes it's her boyfriend's older brother. And Right, and she was obviously kind of like taken aback because that's kind of a well, personal place to be touched sure. without being asked. Not only that, but he said, boy, oh boy, my brother's a lucky man. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that, this, that comment doesn't yeah. make it any better. Yeah. Really creeped her out. So, so she's just wondering, do I mention this? But I don't want to like cause a bunch of drama in the family. 
Yeah. So Kelly was kind of like, well, you know, if it happens again, maybe, but not initially. Right. I I was just wondering, like, how often is she going to be around the brother? Because she just met him for the first time briefly over the holidays. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how long she's been with her boyfriend or if, you know, again, she's going to be seeing the brother on a regular basis. They're at the they just happen to be at the same gym. Mm -hmm. Is that new? Did he find out? Like yeah. Once he met her where she works out and now he's showing up there yeah. to get to know her. I don't know. Yeah, I know that. that And I I said, hey, look, I, I and this is where we kind of differed. I was like, well, maybe we need to mention it to the brother uh, uh, right now. Uh, we got a di- we did get a text from uh, Lacey who said, look, very awkward. I wouldn't say anything unless it's continued. If it happened again or gave creepy vibes, then I'd say something to my boyfriend. So she's kind of on your side with that. Uh, Lisa. I think it's on the way she tells him. I do think it needs to be mentioned, but maybe not in a serious way, mm-hmm. but possibly just a uh, casual, not, um, I'm not worried. I'm, I just wanted to let you know I seen your brother and he did this and just, hey, is he normally like that or what? <laughs> yeah, maybe say it in a joking way, like, oh, yeah, I ran into your brother, crazy thing. He's like, he, right. he kind of gave me a shove on my butt, like, over the wall. He thought I was struggling and everything. That was really nice, but. That was <laughs> really nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, ha- All right. Well, cool. Lisa, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Have a good one. Hi, Candace. Um, so, I have a weird question. Like, what? nobody else said this, but. Why was he at her gym? That's creepy. And the second one is, if she lets this go, like, he's going to think it's an entrance way for him to, like, be creepy all the time, I think. Mm-hmm. I think she needs to nip it in the bud. I I tend to agree with you, Candace. Like, I think she needs to mention something to her boyfriend about this. And I know that her boyfriend idolizes her brother, or his brother, but I, I think there are ways to say it that maybe doesn't I don't know. let's give her the words what does she say like does I, she kind of come needs, at it i think she needs to tell him like hey i was at the gym i ran into your brother you know he might have been trying to help me out but i didn't like it maybe mm. you just you know just tell him like i i just don't like guys touching me yeah <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> hey, i don't like butt. guys that i barely know touching my butt all I right i feel like you're the only one that's supposed to do that all right. Yeah, and and just say like I, I just have a problem with it, and, sure. and kind of put it back on her at the same point. But like mm-hmm. you know, this way you could say, hey, she's really uncomfortable, not with just you. You know, she just doesn't want just anybody. You know, we're unless we're in a committed relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Hands off. No touchy. Right, Candace. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, Andrew, the love doctor. What's your take on this? Um, well, tell him. Yes, absolutely tell him. And here's why you want to tell him. Because if it happens again, and he finds out that it happened prior, and mm. you didn't tell him, mm. it's going to be a problem. Mm. Absolutely. Tell him. He talks to the brother. Say, hey, I wasn't comfortable with it. However it made her feel, she just has to communicate that to him, just so there's nothing moving forward that weirds her out about it. Okay, and Kelly was right to begin with. Yeah, you've got to say something to no, me. No, Andrew, the love doctor, Kelly was not right to begin with. <laughs> it was me that was right to begin with. Okay, if that I was, was what you said. Like, okay. I'm just afraid of the confrontation. Like, if they're in a new relationship, don't want to split up the brothers. But it doesn't weird, matter. But like, if we're going to have to be around the brother, maybe we mention it. I don't uh, know. Yeah, no, okay. Then you, you, all right, Ben, you were right. Thank I love you. Thank yeah. you. Thank but listen, you. <laughs> listen, it doesn't matter how new the relationship is. You have to tell him because it was wrong. If he'd asked first and said, hey, can I help you up? Something like that. Yes. But he startled her. Yeah. Gr- touched her someplace that nobody should be touching her. Yeah. I just yeah. her boyfriend. Yeah. Absolutely. Just mention it. He can mention it to his brother. It might not. He might go, oh, my God, I, I didn't realize I offended her. I might apologize. Right. But say they're at a function, another Christmas party or say uh, whatever. And he yeah. does something again. And she didn't tell him about this. He's yeah. going to be pissed. B- b- yeah. Bigger problems, right? Yeah. Andrew, the love doctor. Thank you, man. Keep on loving. You're just you're just upset that uh, Andrew has to side with me. And that's really uh, what it comes down to. You're you. just you're concerned about whether it's, it's really coming down to does Andrew, the love doctor, side on Team Ben or Team Kelly? And well, he's Ben today. He's always on your side. He is. One hundred percent. That does give me some validation. All right. So I think I think. 
the majority of people are team bet on this one. But, you know, Elizabeth is saying it's a tricky situation. You know, on one hand, letting it go, giving him the benefit of the doubt of that at this point could be beneficial. On the other hand, if it were a stranger, I'd be saying go report him for sexual harassment at the gym. Mm. So taking the relationship out of the picture, she was touched by someone inappropriately without her consent. That's a problem. Yeah. Whether or not this causes drama, her personal boundaries, her personal space yeah. was violated. But if she doesn't address it now, things could get worse. Or it could just be a one-off and she never sees him in the gym again. She's fine to just let it go. Yeah. All right. Well, Jenna, I think you've got a lot to work with here. Good luck. Hopefully this doesn't turn into something that's uh, overly crazy and you're able to nip it in the bud and right. everything's good. Right, like a major rift yeah. between the brothers, but maybe, yeah, coming at it with kind of a, hey, so this is kind of a weird thing that happened at the gym the other day. It's just yeah. kind of come at it like that. I'm so awkward. This is why I don't, I hate conversation. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it right. All right. So there you are. Uh, if you wanted to call in, you wanted to mention something, you weren't able to, you can uh, always up on our Facebook page at Ben and Kelly show. Oh, that's group therapy.